So I'm going to show you how to use alpha layers to make a 3D look in Photoshop. Make a new uh, image and it, the def default Photoshop size will work. But you can do any size you wish. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to make a background for the image. So I'm going to use the bucket tool to do this. And um, so I'm going to pick a color. Oops, I don't mean black. I think let's do a mustard color. That's good. And now I'm just going to give it a little texture. And that'll just make it look more interesting. So texturizer, I'll do that. And just the texturizer will work great. And so now I'm going to select an odd shape using the elliptical marquee tool. If you want, you can hold down shift to keep it a perfect circle. Or you can do a different, whole different selection. And I'm just going to add this to make it look funky. Just for kicks. And I'm going to delete the inside of that to make it white. And so right now, and then right now, I'm going to make a new layer from this little marker over here, down there, and it's going to be an alpha layer. And this is like a depth map. So white is going to be high in this case. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bucket tool again, and I'm just going to wipe that out. So the next step is to use Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to go under Blur. And I'm going to use Gaussian Blur. And this is to make it look like, to make it have smoother edges, rounded edges in the final product. So you can start someplace around 11. And then you're going to slowly move down to different, slowly like cut, cut 11 in half and then cut 6 in half. Now I'm going to do about 3. And once I've done about 3, I'm going to do one, and I'll just finish it off. It'll give it a nice rounded edge look for the finished product. And so that's what I want. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to select the RGB channel. And so here you go. I'm going to deselect this right now, so it's even more amazing when you do this. And under Render, apply lighting effects. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set alpha 1 as your height map. And now you can see that it, that pops up. Right now, just for fun, I'm going to set it as mountainous down there. And you can use these to change the light and direction and how bright it and uh, where it's coming from. Or you can try different light lighting types. And then you can also... Um, play with these, change the intensity to get the effect you want, or you can change how the focus is, wide or narrow, to get different effects depending on what you're doing, and you can change the light quality or the, and the texture, and so, so next the thing I'm going to do, after play around with these, to find exactly what I want. I like that. So that's okay. Now you can see it, it pops up like a 3D object. And once you've done that, you can go back in Alpha 1. And I'm just going to punch out a hole in the center of this. Just because it'll make it look more interesting. Whoops. I need to select the wrong color. There we go. So I'll just make that black, and now that's going to be a low spot. And so what I'm going to do is you can see that's where it's going to look like a low spot. And so now I'm just going to rerun the lighting effects, and you can see you can see that's what it's going to look like. I'm just going to change where the light's coming from to get a better effect here. That's about what I want. So you can see that it kind of put a dip in the center there. And now I'm going to 
go back under alpha 1 and just for fun I'm going to draw a couple lines here I'm going to use the uh, I'm going to use what well, didn't mean to use a history brush I'm going to do something around in the middle so that won't po poke up quite as much something grayish and I'm just going to draw an odd object and I'm just going to rerun the lighting effect you can see that shows up and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do just add another funky little object over here and as you can see what I've done I'm just going to run rerun lighting effects again but this time I'm going to uncheck this box white is high and I'm going to make it reversed so you can see that they're opposite directions now and now it goes the other direction even though it's not too obvious and so this is a technique you can really use on just about anything you can do it on a photo you can do it on um, a uh, you can really do it on any object you want to get a good effect so that's my tutorial for you